the tool has already advanced us to site modeling. So this was step two, site modeling. You can see my toolbar across the top here. I have a select tool, my draw tool, obstacles. I can upload a background image. So like, for example, if if I, again, if I had that dirt lot, I could be, I could say, oh, I need a, uh, a roof plan and I can go ahead and upload this. And uh, if I knew a, a length so if i knew like the distance from this edge of the house to this edge of the house was you know 100 feet or 75 feet or something like that i could scale the drawing based on that one length um so it's just going to drop it in here and then i can make it more or less transparent and i can uh scale it and make it bigger or smaller so you know, just just an example. I'm going to discard this image because we don't need it. OK, so let's draw our roof. And so the, the tool is going to say click on two points to create an edge. Uh, so I always start with the, the cleanest edge that I can get. And I'm going to start right here and then left click and then left click again to stop drawing this line. And I can see this line is now 23 feet and one inch. Great. I'm going to draw down here and then I'm going to make a purposeful mistake uh, just for examples. Uh, and you can see the tool is trying to, you know, get me to that 90 degree angle. We can see it by that little box that shows up. That means it's a 90 degree angle. Now, most homes are built on 90 degree and 45 degree angles. And even though like you can see the side wall here, this is a satellite image. So we're taking a, a picture of a house from space. So I would say that, you know, try to make the roof a little more square than what it actually looks like on the uh, surface is more important than trying to like do a exact verbatim drawing. So again, I'm gonna start at my vertice and, and make sure I have that 90 degree angle. I'm gonna go down. I'm going to go across and as you can see here i've got two 90 degree angles so my square over here and then my square right here and it's recommending where i drop my vertice to be able to have a 90 degree angle and close off this rectangle so that's what i'm going to go do and you always want to make sure that you snap to the vertice if you snap outside of the vertice like that uh, it makes your roof pitch when you draw a 3D model much more difficult to do. And you can see, you know, that mistake right there. So I'm just going to click that and drop it in. Okay. So I can see now I have the outside edges done. Now I want to draw the inside edges. And again, I made a purposeful mistake and I'm going to demonstrate the why that purposeful mistake was made. Um, so we're just going to go like that. Uh, and now we have our dormers cool okay so we can see our roof it has our measurements given out here which is fantastic i've got like 49 feet and six inches on this long side you know it's, it's pretty reasonable uh so the vertices right here think that this roof plane is connected to the rest of the roof so when i go to my 3d modeling and i try to make a 3d image it doesn't work because the tool thinks that all of these roof planes are connected in common. So I'm going to teach you a little trick. This is this is how the uh, the cool the cool kids do it. So instead of this line here and this line, I'm going to draw a new line. I'm going to have to delete that one too. Okay. So we're going to come down here, and instead of connecting all the way at the vertice like we normally would have. I'm going to stop right here and basically draw a little cutout. Cool. All right, so now I have this little cutout here and we can see that cutout because of the shadow. So we know that those, you know, those two roof surfaces are, you know, on different planes. So now when I go to my 3D modeling, I can say uh does the roof go up like that yes it does fantastic and i can see the height of the overall ridge line so this is a two-story house so maybe if i wanted to change this and say oh it's a it's actually you know 22 feet i should be able to type type this in hold on maybe not oh because all my roof lines aren't aren't selected there we go so i can say the overall height is you know maybe 25 feet or whatever uh for the roof pitch it's a 5 512 or i could say it's a 412 and it'll automatically change the roof pitch for me uh this rotate tool 
I can either click on my mouse wheel and rotate the image, or I can use the rotate uh, view down here, or I can use control and arrow keys. So that doesn't look exactly right. So I'm just gonna bring that up to a 412. And now we have a beautiful looking roof that looks exactly what it should look like. Fantastic. For additional information and access to more in-depth tutorials, go to solaredge.com, select login and e-learning to get access to the library of SolarEdge learning materials.